Today, today, we come upon the last core value of the house. Number 10. Number 10. What is it? Reaching out to the world. By the grace of God, at the house, we will strive to be always reaching out to the world. That is, our community will not be the end goal. We will not be a church just for the city, but for the whole world. That's our heart. But if we say this, we think about the many churches, and hopefully including our church, that has its focus on the ends of the earth and spend a good portion of our budget, energy, and time on missions to the ends of the earth. Now, inevitably, when people discover that, they come up with questions, and rightly so. Why spend all this money traveling to the ends of the earth? Why? You can send them money if you want to without the travel expenses. Further, there are plenty of poor people all around us. Serve them. Serve at home first before you serve in the world. And there is some point. There's a point to that, as I will mention right now. Because there are poor people all around us. Just look around. More and more, you see the poverty crisis, which was once more hidden, tucked away in a corner, in your face these days. Right here in our city, in our beloved city. It's true. Poverty is all around us. Lack of hearing the gospel, the good news of God, his salvation, is all around us. Oh, but Pastor Paul, you said that we need to have the goal of all tribes, tongues, nations coming together to sing God's praise. So we must reach out to all tribes, tongues, and nations. Yes. But as I said the other day, all these tribes, tongues, and nations are coming to us. We live truly in a melting pot of cultures and languages. And we don't have to reach that far to reach out to different cultures, different languages, different ethnicities. In fact, I said yesterday that we are already missionaries, missionaries from heaven to earth. We are already missionaries. Right where we are is where our mission master has sent us. Then why? Why go to the ends of the earth? And I will tell you, loving people Wanting people's salvation, wanting people to have a better life than they do, loving people, is not enough for global missions. A what? 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 Pastor Paul, didn't you just give away the store? Didn't you just throw out the baby with the bathwater? How can you say that? Loving people is not enough for global missions. What? Then don't do global missions? I didn't say that. Don't. Don't make me say what I didn't say. We must do global missions. We must commit a significant budget to doing global missions. Our hearts must go to the ends of the earth. Not just where we are, our neighborhoods. But why? What is a reason that could possibly be greater than love for people? Love for God is. Love for God is. Love for people is put into the service of the love for God. Jesus came to save the lost in obedience, in service to the Heavenly Father. Philippians chapter 2, speaking of Jesus' work of, and ministry of salvation, says nothing about our salvation but that God humbled Jesus and then lifted him up. His whole work of coming to the earth and serving us was the process of the love story between the Father and the Son. The only place that we come in is that through salvation we voluntarily kneel and fall on our faces and lift up our hands and praise Jesus as Lord of all. Glorify Him. What is a greater reason to go to the ends of the earth to share the gospel? The glory of God. 
the glory that God deserves, not only here in America, but from every tongue, tribe, and nation, in every tongue, tongue, tribe, and nation. There are plenty of places right now where the gospel has not been heard. There are Buddhist countries, communist countries, Muslim countries, plenty of places where Jesus is not proclaimed. The gospel should go there. Many places where mission works are still going and they're not fully completed in that there are not churches that are planted there. Plenty of work to be done, especially when we consider the precious form of the gospel that we have received, the gospel of the Lordship of Jesus to be done, to be worked all around the world because God deserves praise from everyone. That's what we find here in Psalm 67. Psalm 67 verses 4 and 5. Just these two verses will be enough for us to see it. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the people with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Amen. Love poor people. Yes, we should have that. We should share Jesus' heart. We should ask Jesus to have his heart beating through us that we might see him do in us and through us things that we never could possibly imagine doing. Taking risks and giving ourselves to and for people we have never met before. Yes, but for the purpose of them singing the praises where they are to the great glorious Lord of their salvation. Let the peoples praise you. Let all peoples everywhere praise you. Let that be the rallying cry, the mission motto for all mission efforts all around the world. Salvation of mankind? Great, but not the end goal. Salvation of, of the, uh, salvation of all mankind for the glory, for the love of our Heavenly Father shown to us in Jesus, applied to us in the power, the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit. Let the nations be glad. So let's be always reaching out to the world. That is our final <laughs> core value. We are closing out the core value series now. Praise God. In the future, I hope to redo some of these core values as we go along and as our circumstances change, continue to apply them. But now we have the foundation set. All right. And here we move on. Let's sing God's praise. Appropriately respond in worship.
hearts burn for you, for your glory, King Jesus, and in burning for your glory, because you are so good, you are so precious, you are too good for us to keep to ourselves. Let our hearts break for the things for which your heart breaks. Reach out to the lost, seek their salvation, so that through their salvation, they might rightly, justly magnify your name from the ends of the earth. Jesus, in that precious, magnificent name we pray. Amen.